Morning, YouTube, and welcome back to Fern Valley Farms YouTube channel. We're on this channel. We are pure country. Well, I guess I feel like talking because it's kind of too hot to do anything else. It's <sighs> bugs. 8.30. It's 8.30 in the morning. The sun's coming up. It's going to be hot and humid. Yesterday was really nice. It was hot, humid, 90 plus. The, uh, the heat, well, the electricity went out for like four hours. We had really bad storms up here Sunday afternoon, and the electric company turned, everything, turned something off to fix from the storms the night before our power didn't go out <clears throat> but they more they must have been fixing something yesterday so we had no power for like four hours fortunately the house didn't get too hot but it's back on we're all good so it's like 8 30 in the morning i'm going to talk this is more of a uh, beginner beekeeping type thing this is stuff that i've learned and i've picked up okay i got a question for everybody how many time how many people want to go in their hives all the time come on raise your hand Really, come on, I know there's more of you guys that are just dying to go into your hives all the time. You want to play with your bees, don't we all? You want to look at your hives, you want to see what they're doing? Don't. <laughs> I know it's, it's tempting to not, I know you want to go in there and you want to mess with them, you want to check them out. And you can, but you don't want to do it all the time. You don't want to go in there every day. When you open them up, supposedly, when you open them up, and uh, I got a horse running. I think a horse fly is chasing her. Anyways. <laughs> Back to the topic here. Um, lost my train of thought. Opening your hives too much. That's what I was going to say. I know we all want to go on our hives, but we all want to check our bees. We want to play with them, see what they're doing. And you can. You just don't want to do it every day. Supposedly, when you go in the hive, you start pulling frames apart, especially if you've got frames that are in there, and you pull them apart, and they've got cone that they're building in between frames, which I really don't like, but they do it sometimes. <coughs> Excuse me. You start pulling all that stuff apart. They gotta work. They gotta work to rebuild all that. So when you want to open your hives, you can. You know, it, it's good to go in about once every seven days. That's what I do. I go in about once every seven days. I'll look in there. I'll pull frames apart. I'll checkerboard frames. But don't go in there every day. If you want to look at your bees, take your lid off. Maybe raise your inner covers. And I don't think there's anything wrong with this. I'll raise my inner cover. I'll peek, make sure they're doing all. You know, just kind of look, see what they're doing, see if any more brood is hatched, any more frames have uh, bees on them. That's okay, but if you go in there like every day, start pulling frames apart, you're 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 messing up their work. You're interrupting you're interrupting your whole little system that they got going in there. So you don't want to mess with them too much. Every seven, every five, six, seven days. I mean, if there's a problem, you got to go in there. That's fine, but don't be tempted. I know you want to go in there. I want to do the same thing. I come out here like right now. Everything's all caught up. <clears throat> there's nothing really to do at the moment. I'll check for syrup. I, I am feeding some of these hives just because of the way the weather's been so late, so bad, so lit. Yeah, one more time. I am feeding syrup just because of the way the weather's been lately. But uh, I'll pop the lids, the hoods, like I just did the other uh, about a little while ago. I lifted up the roofs, checked the syrup. One's a little low. I'll add some to it. But uh, I'm not going to be pulling frames apart. I might lift the inner cover, like I said, and check to see what they're doing, see how the pollen patty looks. I just close it right back up. If you want to watch your bees, come out here and watch them. You know, stand out in the front of your hive. You can see them right now. It's 8.30. It's warm. They're out flying. You can check to see if they're bringing in pollen. That's what I do. But don't open your hives every day. Don't be messing with them too much. I know it's tempting. I know we all want to do it. Once every five, six, yeah, six, seven days is, is pretty good. Five days, okay, if you, if you need to check something. But if you look down in there, you see a lot of stuff kind of going on. It looks okay. Just leave it alone. Shut them back up and leave them be. And then wait a couple more days, then pop some frames and go in there and check it. So that's kind of like the moral of my story. That's kind of like the point of this whole story. Uh, don't don't mess with your bees too much. Don't 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 disturb them too much. I said this is more of a beginner beekeeping type topic here. Uh, we all want to do it. We all want to get in there and check them. Uh, check your syrup. Pop the lid. See what they're doing. If you think there is something going on, go ahead and look at them. But I just kind of leave mine. I try not to mess with them too much, especially my splits. When I do my splits, I leave them alone. After the queen is released, I'll wait. I mean, after I, after I uh, install a queen, I'll go back three days to make sure she's out, she's out. I know she's out. I shut it. I leave it for a good seven to ten days. Don't mess with it. You want to check, make sure she's laying eggs. That's a whole other topic. Um, so if you want to check your splits, you know, here again, pop the lid, see if they're doing okay. I even have this little, if you really want to hear what your bees are doing, I've done a video on this thing here. Hold on. Let me turn this camera. See that, right? Where are we at here? Right here. See this? All this is is a piece of is a piece of uh, 
Uh, it's, a, it's a pipe connector for shop vacs is all it is. Well, I got these vent holes on my roofs. It fits in that hole really good. I turn it up, put your ear to it. You can hear your bees in there. I even, this is great for the winter time, especially. Um, I keep it pointed down just in case it rains. I don't want water to get inside there. So anyways, like I said, this is more of a beginner thing. Don't, don't mess with your bees too much. You, you disturb them. You interrupt the whole system. Just kind of leave them alone. Check them every six, seven days. See how they're doing. If you got to do something to it, check the board frames, whatever. Uh, so anyways, that's, that's it. Just, just kind of leave them be. I'm trying to think of anything else on this particular topic. Um, if you got some dead bees on the front, you can kind of scrape them out a little bit. The bees will drag the dead bees out. So that's it. Just wanted to just kind of talk for a few minutes, especially to the beginners. Just don't mess with them too much. Just, just leave them alone. And I know it's tempting. We all want to do it. We're all guilty. I know. If not, if you have a lot of hives, if you really build up big time, then you can almost, you'll have something to almost go into every day. I keep, I keep a log of what I got going on each hive. I'm going to do a video on that one, actually. I keep track of what's going on in each hive. It is so hard to remember everything that you've done. Because when you go, you sit down, you start writing all this stuff down. A week later, what did I do? You go back, check it out. So anyways, don't, anyways, don't mess with your bees too much. Kind of leave them be. Let them just, just come out here and observe them, watch them, watch them fly around. Sit and kind of, it's kind of relaxing to sit out here and watch them. So hopefully you liked the video. If you do, consider subscribing to the channel. Support the channel. There's more beekeeping videos to come along with other farm-related animal stuff. Uh, if you do decide to, to subscribe, click that little button right there. Hit the subscribe button. If you do subscribe, there's a little bell next to the subscribe button. Click that bell. You'll get notified every time a video comes out. So anyways, YouTube, get out, enjoy your bees, have fun, but don't check them too much. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, bye.